Today we're having a look at two new batteries by Smallrig. The first one is 212 by Caleb Pike. It's a mini V-mount battery with 212 watt hours and also the best NPF battery that I've ever used. Let's review those. What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin and you're watching No Limits On channel. So this is the V-mount battery, it's actually called mini V-mount, but it weighs 1300 grams and it's not lightweight by any means, but considering the power it has inside of this battery, it's a very reasonable size and weight for this one. So now let's have a look at the features of this beast of a battery. Of course it's protected from high voltage, from high temps, low temps, etc. So here we have two D-tap connectors on each side, so one on the left and one on the right. Of course the V-mount itself with quarter inch and three eighth of an inch right here, and also the classic V-mount um, BP, let me say, connector on the bottom of the battery. But also on the front of the battery we have a pretty nice glowy, you can see it right here, front and also the LED or LCD or even an OLED display, I'm not sure which one is this, but it's a very informative display and no matter what you plug into this battery it shows you the TDP, also the voltage, the amperage, everything and how long will it last on its juice. So here we have 12 volt out, the barrel connector, also 8 volt out, also the barrel connector and here we have C1 and C2 USB type C's which are super fast and you can charge this particular battery with two USB-C cables simultaneously and you can charge it at a very high rate and you can fill it from 0 to 100 in about two and a half hours which is great and also we have a USB type A out so you can power with this only battery a ton of stuff like I'm showing you here for example you can power a light you can also power your camera your follow focus system your monitor everything you can rig it out in any possible way so right now on the display I'm showing you that we're using a 100 watt light and it shows me the TDP of 100 watts also 20 volts and how much time we have left in this case at 15% battery we have 16 minutes of runtime. And also guys in the kit you get this super cool cable by Caleb Pike with his signature. It's 240 watt cable and it's rated super nice edition as well. So this battery is super versatile as you might imagine and I highly recommend it because it simply has no flaws in my opinion except for the weight. But for the power it has it's okay for me. So now let's have a closer look at the NPF battery. And now guys let's have a look at the NPF battery which is called 4469 by Smallrig. It has 10,500 milliamp hours, 76 and a half watt hours and this battery has USB-A out as well as the USB-C in and out with fast power delivery up to 40 watts. So here is the example, here is the light which is 100 watts of power and I can power this light with 40 watts of power from this MPF battery for about two hours because it has 76.5 watt hours of power. So this MPF battery also has the touch screen on the front which shows you the battery status, a nice touch by small rig as well. And now let's have a look how this battery performs. For example, here is my Atomos Ninja 5 at maximum brightness recording in 4K ProRes footage. And here you can see that we have 4 hours and 15 minutes, which is great for the Atomos Ninja 5 because it chews through batteries like crazy. We'll compare the battery life of Atomos Ninja 5 with this 8800 mAh no name NPF battery, which is almost exactly the same size, a bit lighter of course, but the small rig got a very uh, long time compared to this one. So then I tried my Shimbo Z600M monitor, which is not chewing through battery at all. And I also connected my MPF battery to my camera with the USB-C and to my Ulanzi cooler. And everything was max brightness, both camera and uh, also the monitor. And this setup was able to work for three and a half hours, which is great as well because we were feeding power to three devices simultaneously. And as you can tell, this battery charges at about 25 watts per hour. So you can fully charge it in about three and a half hours. So here are the numbers compared to the no-name 8800 milliamp hours from AliExpress. It's super cheap, but it's not really reliable because my Atomos Ninja 5 can turn off any minute because of the low voltage with those MPF batteries. 
So here are the numbers. Adamus Ninja 5 on No Name worked for 1 hour and 46 minutes compared to 4 hours and 15 minutes. It's more than twice as much with the small rig battery. Also, my Shimbal ZL600M worked for 6 hours with the No Name and 12 hours with the small rig battery. Because this Shimbal monitor is super efficient, let me say. Also, the charging time is almost twice as long with the no-name battery compared to the small rig 5 hours versus 3.5. Of course, the small rig is a bit heavier, about 80 grams, but I'm fine with that. And the small rig battery as well has all the protection protocols like um, overcharging, discharging uh, safety reasons, also the high temperature, low temperature, so basically everything to a modern standard. And also it has 25 watt hours more than the no-name battery. So to me it's an obvious choice, I do want a reliable solution, no matter it's more expensive, of course it is, but I do know how much my camera, my um, Atomos Ninja 5 will work on this one in particular, and I'm sure it will not have any issues with time, whereas those, they're not super reliable, but very cheap as well. And also guys, I've got this little plate, which is an adapter for my NPF battery, which turns it into the DC out 12 volt and also DC out 7.4 volts so if you have a barrel connector on your gear like on a monitor or whatever you can use this plate it comes with this rubber part on the back and also you can use one screw quarter inch or you can use two screws with an allen key to securely connect it to your rig or to your camera or to your light basically so this one is also a very nice touch and i highly recommend it as well as far as prices go, so the NPF battery is $80. Not cheap for an NPF battery, of course, but it has three colors, super reliable. My highest recommendations, to be honest, guys. The plate is $26, also not cheap, but if you do need the barrel connector for the 7 volt and 12 volt out, of course, my neighbors are drilling the walls right now in the end of my filming. And also the big one is $440. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, neighbors. Thank you. I appreciate it. But I think it's a very reasonable price compared to the competition. Can also highly recommend this one, Caleb. Nice job. Hey, from Russia with love. So guys, please tell me in the comment section below which NPF batteries you use and which V-mount batteries you use and why. And if you did enjoy this video, please smash the like and subscribe buttons and hit the notifications bell. And right here I have the video for you to watch next. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.